she does not follow him anymore, and he doesn't follow her. In a long-awaited revelation, Drake has broken his silence. On the reason behind his decision to unfollow Bobby Altoff, as the story unfolds, Drake's words offer a captivating glimpse into his perspective that sometimes connections undergo shifts that demand consideration. Let's dive into the ongoing drama that you've been waiting for. Bobby Althoff is a TikToker turned podcaster who shot to fame by interviewing the likes of Drake Lil Yachty and Tiga. But recently, her viral interview with the massive rapper has been mysteriously deleted from the internet to add to that. Both parties have mutually unfollowed each other, the suspense surrounding their interaction has reached a whole new level, leaving fans and viewers curious about the reasons behind this sudden development. He has deleted her viral interview with Drake and they've unfollowed each other on Instagram. Is this a publicity stunt or is there some beef going? Drake's appearance on Altoff's widely watched A Really Good Podcast and garnered an impressive 10 million views on YouTube. So deleting the podcast is quite perplexing since Bobby didn't speak. Publicly, her fellow podcaster Dave Portnoy finally spilled the beans on what was going on. You see, there were rumors in the influencer circle about the impending breakage of Bobby's marriage, the reason being her alleged affair with Drake behind her husband's back. But although Bobby didn't admit it, she did it herself during the conversation. I heard that Bobby slept with Drake and is getting divorced. So I asked her. I DM Bobby. What? You asked her, did you sleep with Drake and are you getting a divorce? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'm not coming up to, uh, commenting on that publicly. Fans have been eagerly waiting to find out what happened behind the camera that made Drake and Bobby go their separate ways, why Drake and Bobby Althoff beefing. What does her story mean? Didn't want to do the interview with him. In the first place, and she deleted the video, the girl said she wouldn't say anything. Publicly, but we need to know hash Drake. Hash Bobby Althoff hash is fairly good. Podcasters believe that the extended interview gradually lost its harmonious balance, allegedly somewhere near the midpoint Bobby's approach seemingly intensified, leading to a perceptible shift in dynamics that left some viewers finding it exceptionally uncomfortable. Speculation has arisen regarding a possible on-camera discord, which suggests the tensions might have escalated between the two Redditors. Believe that Drake's subsequent decision to unfollow Altov might be attributed to least in part to the palpable strain that emerged during the course of their conversation. I noticed Drake seemed to be getting gradually more annoyed. Seemed to be for real, building up to the, the 49 to 45 check mark, where he basically suddenly cuts it. He wants to say, okay, you've got X more minutes, then we're done. Here, then changes it to ask me a few more questions, her energy shifts when she starts going, are you kicking me out? Without adding another layer of complication. An alternate theory has emerged. Speculating about a potential narrative between Drake and Bobby, according to this perspective, some conjecture that Drake might have attempted to establish a connection with Bobby only to face a moment of embarrassment when she decisively declined his advances. Rumor has Drake tried to push up on Bobby. Althoff's husband found messages between them and later had her unfollow Drake, and remove the viral interview from YouTube, the situation escalated even further when Bobby seemingly added fuel to the fire by sharing an Instagram post, poking fun at Drake alongside a video of herself, appearing unamused at one of his concerts with friends merrily singing and dancing beside her. This incident garnered so much attention that even XXL Magazine reported on podcaster Bobby Altoff at Drake's show on Saturday night two days later. She and Drake unfollowed each other on Instagram, and she removed their interview from YouTube in addition to that Bobby has recently teased her audience with the news that a very big announcement is coming their way, posted on her Instagram a big announcement. Coming next Monday, set a reminder. Because you guys will not want to miss this is 9 in the morning, someone's time. Apart from that, Bobby also revealed her clever strategy that helped her to secure Drake as a guest. The art of sliding into his DMS, detailing her approach Altoff, revealed that her initial connection with Drake sparked from his recognition of her video collaboration with Funny Marco, due to which he decided to follow her on social media, recognizing the window of opportunity, Althoff seized the moment, and boldly extended an invitation to the renowned musician, I decided to just go for it and shoot my shot. I DM Drake and asked if he wanted to be on my podcast. And he said yes, he sent me his touring schedule, and I knew that I needed to make it happen fast.
So my friend and I flew to Memphis two days after the, the original DM was sent to record the episode. It is said that in the deleted podcast episode, Drake delved into personal matters. Discussing his perspective on marriage and relationships, the musician conveyed his belief that the concept of marriage appears somewhat antiquated. Acknowledging that he envisions himself eventually marrying someone outside of the entertainment industry, he explained his reluctance to marry a Russian citing a lack of confidence in offering what a partner might desire at this point in his life to top it. Consider yourself a rapper or a singer? Um, I consider myself a uh, musician. Bobby has also found herself under the scrutiny of being labeled an industry plant in light of her rapid rise to fame, evidenced by her acquisition of over $3 million TikTok followers within a mere couple of months. This heightened attention stems from her ability to secure high-profile interviews with notable artists, a feat not often accomplished. Especially after Drake, who rarely engages in interviews, has been drawn into her orbit. Surprisingly, her recent spotlight is a striking contrast to her. Past you might not know, but her last before the fame podcast was back in 2019. For those who don't understand the term industry plant is associated with individuals who seemingly operate independently, yet are speculated to have concealed backing and financial support, driving their sudden prominence and opportunities, amidst swirling speculations, Bobby firmly dismissed the persistent rumors of branding her as an industry plant by asserting her own identity, she emphasized that her the role is better characterized as that of an entertainer and comedian. She said I think that's why celebrities are down to they know it's a character, and we just wing it. It's not a real interview. I'm not trying to get hard-hitting. Information about you I'm not trying to uncover anything. It's just a conversation. It's really a parody of a good interview. However, the fans are nowhere near convinced they have backed up their argument with statistics, the even Bobby herself can't deny Bobby Althoff is of Jewish descent and is signed the same management as Drake's agent is TJ Bernati, and she signed to Gavio and E. Without prior success, her husband is also a millionaire, she is not self-made. And she is a plant by definition. Not I'm not sure why she's lying about it on a surprisingly, a fan even reported that Lil Yachty also unfollowed Bobby on Instagram Lil Yachty and Drake, both have unfollowed Bobby Althoff. This is the biggest rise in downfall we've seen in a long time, Recent whispers of a possible affair with Drake has ignited a flurry of rumors and speculations as fans and followers eagerly dissect the alleged connection Bobby's response has taken center stage in an attempt to clear the air she has taken to social media to share a snapshot of a direct message. Conversation with Dave aiming to debunk the swirling allegations in this text message thread between Bobby Altoff and Varstool owner Dave Portnoy Bobby can be seen denying allegations that she slept with Drake and is getting a divorce. Because of it, amidst the swirling drama, an intriguing layer has been added to the narrative Bobby recently disclosed that her involvement in a podcast with Dave was met with a significant dose of reluctance Althoff wrote on her Instagram story, I did not want to do this podcast in the first place, and now so much negativity is coming from it, I'm going to leave it. Alone after this, but this is the uncensored DM between Dave and I in a recent clip shared on the BFS TikTok page, has brought attention to Bobby's financial situation with the text Bobby is actually broken, overlaying the footage. During the conversation, Dave inquired if Bobby was experiencing substantial in response. She candidly shared, I hadn't actually seen any of the money I'm waiting on TikTok to give me any money right now, people think I'm joking about being in debt. I'm not I put every penny I've had into this podcast like flights, everything, even to come here, I've spent like $2,000, that's money I don't have yet. Put it on a credit card. Unlike chipping away at every credit card, I can max out right now. I have three cards. On my third one, however, later in the podcast, she mentioned that her payment would come very soon. That's it for today. See you at the next one. Let us know your thoughts down below.